going on guys? Alex Rose 814 EDC and today I have another package to open for you guys. So this is a package coming from my good buddy Casey over at Knives Fast. Um, and I believe this is a, a group of best tech knives that were sent our way from the Black Widow Passaround group. Um, I don't remember exactly what the knives are if I'm being completely honest. Um, I think I can picture what a couple of them look like, but I remember a little while back, uh, Justin, knife dude, who basically runs um, the Black Widow Prosser Group. Shout out to you, Justin. You do a hell of a job for a 15-year-old kid. Um, he sent a couple pictures and was like, hey, guys, I'm, I'm getting these in from Best Tech. Uh, it's a group of, four, I, think, I think, three or four. Um, send them around and stuff like that. So me, you know, just wanting to get some new stuff in on the channel, more content for you guys. I said, heck yeah. But if I'm being honest, I don't remember what's in here. Um, so that's kind of a cool thing because it'll be a little bit of a surprise. Unboxing knife is the uh, Trevor Berger Urban EDC Supply Collab Urban that I just filmed the video on. Um, this is sent in to me by my good buddy Corey Stafford EDC, who is also a Black Widow Passaround Group member. Um, if you guys saw, it was probably yesterday's video. Um, just you guys know how much I raved about this knife, and it's going to be a very positive review. So. Very gently, I'm gonna find out how to cut this bad boy open. I'll definitely have to wipe the schmutz off if I get some on here. But I know Corey uses his knife, so he won't care if I cut a little tape, a little package. Nice and slicey blade on this thing. Leave that open so I know to wipe it off. So if you guys follow Casey, which I'm sure you do, Knives Fast, um, he has my uh, Quist Variant PE in on loan. Um, when I sent him the um, Steel Wheel Spiker that I had in on uh, loan from the Apex Pass Run Group. So go check out Casey's videos. I'll leave his channel and his Instagram page linked down below. He's pumping out some really good content. Um, I really like Casey's, um, you know, point of view from on some knives. I, I really like it. I think it's unique. Um, it's he puts out some good stuff, guys. And he is um, currently in the middle of his Kickstarter campaign for his Tempest Knives Mach 51, which is his knife company, his first knife he's coming out with. So uh, if you want more info about that, I've got a piece of garbage right here. If you want more info about that, uh, if you go to his Instagram page or his uh, YouTube channel, you can find out more information. All righty, got some stuff in here. Got a box. Hey guys, sorry about that. My girlfriend called me and I had to uh, talk to her for a few minutes. So I'm going to have to connect the first, uh, I don't know, five, 10 minutes of footage with the second half. Seems like the last couple times I've been filming, I've had, you know, phone calls or my camera shut off um, and I've had to like, you know, connect the two together, but it's no big deal. Um, but just after a brief delay, we were back. And I, as I was talking to her, I continued to take the rest of the uh, knife boxes out. So there are three knives here. Um, two look like they are like more budgety style because they are in packages like this. And then the other one is in a bigger package like this. But it feels kind of heavy, like there might be two in here. Um, and this definitely could fit two. So we are gonna start off with the operator. Um, D2, satin, and black. I don't know what the operator is off the top of my head. Uh, but you have the best tech knives, simply the best box or uh, packaging right there. And then over here, this must be the um, code for the operator, specifically the black um, D2 one, or the black and satin, excuse me. Um, so yeah, we'll just open this up. Okay, so it is green. Oh boy, this is a chunky knife. All right guys, so this is the what, operator? Yeah, the operator. You got OD green, you have the best tech pivot right there, all black hardware, uh, flipper, huge opening hole down here, a deep carry pocket clip that is recessed into the scales, um, which is nice. The screws are not countersunk, but um, like I always say, they kind of do, do it halfway, which is better than no way at all. Um, centering is dead on, and it looks like from just the blade, you have some satin parts in addition to like a black stone wash, which is gonna be cool. Um, this thing is definitely not a lightweight knife. And from what I could tell, it's going to be kind of a, a Warncliffe style blade, like sheep's foot. All right, we'll give it a flick. 
Yeah, look at that blade, guys. Thing is very wicked looking. You have, it's all satin down here, and then the um, black stone wash. It's definitely a unique look. Um, overall, the knife is definitely interesting looking. Um, there it says D2. It is a liner lock. You have plenty of access to that lock, which is really, really nice. Closing action. Oh, yeah. Nice and smooth. I would assume this is on bearings, looks like it. Um, but with how big that blade is, I mean, that's you're going to get really nice, smooth drop shot action. Like I said, dead center. We'll try a middle finger flick. Bang that open. Thumb flick. Yep. Uh, pointer finger flick. Yeah. There we go. This hole is definitely big, guys. Um, it's like fat here at the top and then gets narrower towards the bottom. But yeah, you can flick it nice. Has good. I mean, this thing has really good action. It's definitely thick. You have a uh, looks like black G10 backspacer back here. Ergonomically, it's pretty comfortable. You have some jimping up here, up here on the top. Um, you could kind of use this thing as like a little landing troller if you're going to do like really precise work. But also, if you're really going to be choked up, you kind of can land in this poon spoon up here, right? And your thumb fits it perfectly if you're going to be like ripping through stuff. Um, my hand's a little strained getting up there, but yeah, the G10 feels kind of nice. Um, it has some, has some milling ridges in here. You guys, I don't like... I would probably never go out of my way to buy this knife if I saw it on like a website, but it's definitely nice. Um, it seems like very, it's a very well-built knife. Action's good. I like how they have a, a, the detents tuned enough for the flipper tab in addition to the middle finger flick. Um, yeah, good action, good close action. Very unique knife. I, I do like the blade shape. Um, it's just, it's a little big for me. Um, but yeah, this is the best tech operator in D2 and satin and black and OD green. So full review will definitely be coming on this one, but yeah, really cool knife. Uh, I would assume these probably go between anywhere from 45 to probably $65. Um, I'll definitely look it up whenever I do the full review to have a better um, idea, but I believe that's what best tech kind of goes around. Okay, so this is the Explorer, uh, also in D2 and satin and black. So I think I, from the name, I think I can picture what this knife looks like. Um, there is the code, very similar uh, boxing or packaging. But I think this knife is very ugly, if I can remember correctly. And yes, I think I was correct. So this comes in some plastic. We'll shove that back in there. So this is in JG10. Has some um, milling done here. You can see through both sides of the scales. Kind of interesting. You can see there has a flipper tab. Um, it has a hole for opening. A loop over style deep carry clip that goes pretty much to the butt end of the knife. Um, that is also sunk into the scale, so that's nice. A little backspacer action. Um, so yeah, definitely a lot smaller in size as compared to the operator. We'll give a little, little size comparison right there. You can see how much smaller it is. Um, we'll give the flipper tab a flick. Yeah, so it doesn't flip bad, but oh my god, guys, what, what is this blade? I mean, this thing looks like an absolute chode. Like, it, it kind of looks like a killer whale. Like, this blade with, like, the eye and, like, the front, it looks like an orca or, like, a killer whale. Um, that's what they should have called this thing was the orca. It's, like, thick, grind, or, uh, thick blade stock. Comes down to the same... I mean, the, the black stone wash to the satin, but you have like a chisel, like ta like tanto almost, but like the tanto is so small. You have the primary point or tip and then the secondary tip. Um, this thing seems really thick behind the edge, very thick. Um, I don't know, guys. I just, I thought this looked familiar and the name sounded familiar. But this thing, I just can't get the, the killer whale or orca like picture out of my head. And I don't know. Liner lock. Okay, so the action's pretty smooth. I mean, it drops to your nail. It comes down hard, too, because that blade is blade's pretty thick. So it definitely thuds down on there. But closing action is definitely smooth. We'll try to break the detent. Yeah, very easy to shake it down. Very, very smooth. Um, try if I can middle finger flick it. 
Yeah. The hole's definitely a little, you know, narrower, which I've said before to me personally, the narrower the hole, the harder it is to thumb flick. Middle finger flick is okay because you can just kind of dig your nail in there. But I bet if I try to thumb flick it, yeah, see, it kind of comes out. You kind of have to like, it's, it's just a little awkward. Um, you can slow roll it out. It actually works really well for slow rolling, but this thing is just, I'm sorry, best tech, but what, 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 what were you, what were you thinking when you were, you know, designing this knife? It's chunky. It's thick. I mean, the blade is, I don't know. Is this a pry bar? Is it a knife? I mean, no, you do have good action going for it for sure. Um, I like, I like the flipper tab, how it's kind of like pushed up. It, it really works quite, uh, quite well. But, I mean, it is dead centered. How um, many blade play? No, I don't think I checked the uh, operator for blade play. Nope, they're, they're both rock solid, which is good, considering they have good actions. But, yeah, um, you kind of have this, like, rounded choil up here. You can almost fit, like, two fingers on. It's, I mean, it's kind of comfortable, but, like, again, it's, it's very thick. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this, but, again... A full review will be coming, um, and to each of their own. Someone might love this knife, but to me, it's just not very attractive. So that was, or this is the best, te or uh, yeah, best tech explorer. And now we're gonna get into what I believe to be their premium uh, model. So this is the Thyra. Here is the model number. Like I said, this feels thick enough to have two knives in it. So, um, but this kind of pulls off the top there. Comes with a. Um, best tech pouch you have some silica gel pack and some paperwork that I'm not gonna bother to look at Nice best tech thick zippered pouch And yes, oh, I remember this one. Okay, so there are two knives in here um, I believe the Thyra is like the premium model. So we'll, we'll use the other one first And this is actually a model that you know off the top of my head. I don't remember the name of it um, but I definitely remember looking at this model on White Mountain Knives because I think they were on sale one time and I was like kind of considering buying one because they were a good price. Um, so I, again, this is a, I know the other one's a Thyra because it's again, the more premium model, um, but I'm not sure what this one is. So just kind of, kind of unique, but kind of different again, kind of following the same pattern of the Explorer, how, how it has the milling slits in there. Um, this one has like milling holes. Um, flipper tab, you do have a hole, but I believe that's going to be too like far in there to really get any you know leverage to flick. Loop over style deep carry clip that is anodized blue with some lines on it, which is kind of interesting when you have a black knife with red backspacer. Um, this knife's definitely more my speed for size and, and thinness because it is a lot thinner than the other ones. Um, but yeah, we'll give it a flick. Yeah, and see, it's just, it looks more, doesn't say the name on here, um, but it has K110 blade steel, which is basically, from what I can understand, a D2 equivalent. Uh, but this is definitely more of a, just a simple looking knife. You just have a simple drop point. Um, decently thin behind the edge. The blade stock is kind of a medium thickness, but this one's definitely thinner behind the edge than the other two. Um, you do have some jimping up here. And from a, from a handle standpoint, I can kind of get behind this flipper tab right there and I get, have a nice natural restriction point and I can get all four fingers on here. Um, you know, this is definitely, again, more my speed. Okay, so you have a, a detent ball ramp that is not... Oh, the liner is also anodized blue too. That's unique. I don't think I've seen that before. You guys can get some light up in there. There we go. Yeah, but both, both liners are blue. Um, that kind of match the pot clip. The pot clip looks nice because it's nice and short. Um, it's kind of recessed into the uh, scale, but it's not at the same time. Yeah, that action is just... I really... You really have to press that lock bar over to get the knife to break. Because um, if you don't, like, from here to here, if you guys can hear that, I mean, that's all play, and you got to get past that second kind of point, and then it drops. Uh, it's smooth once you get past that on, like, you know, the shaking of it closed. But it's definitely, it's a thinner blade. Yeah, my thumb is already 
like you have to jam your thumb in there to like the access isn't bad but i don't know it's just weird you have to like really shove your thumb in there or your yeah your thumb in there to um gain access the detents nice so you have a lot you know a nice snappy detent you have a lot of uh real estate up here to snap that baby open yeah so i'll definitely have to look up the name of this um but i definitely remember looking at this before on like white mountain knives because i think they were on sale one time for like 40 bucks and I just hadn't gotten a knife in a while, um, and it didn't look too bad. And I, I don't think it looks bad at all. I think the aesthetics of it is, you know, very simple, very utilitarian. But, you know, now that I felt how the lock bar is, um, and the action's not the best, I, I'm glad I didn't pull the trigger and buy one of these, um, because I just got to experience one this way anyway. So that is the unnamed Beztech that I will definitely be talking about in the review. I'll probably just do a big long review video of all these together instead of you know doing four separate. Um, but yeah, so unnamed best tech knife, and then the last one, but certainly not least because I believe, like I said, this one is a premium model, and this thing is funky. Right away, one of I mean one of the most unique knives I think I've ever seen. This this whole allotment of best tech knives have been very different very out there um, from what i'm used to seeing and getting in on the channel uh, but this is i believe all titanium with these two carbon fiber bolsters up here has a pivot collar um so the beztech logo is also different you're used or pivot you're used to seeing this but on this one you I don't even know how you would, if that's a B in there somehow, but it's different that way. Um, it's like, it looks like it has like a worker finish to it, kind of a like an anodized titanium. Um, it's cool that the blade like disappears into the handle. You have a milled titanium clip over here that looks very, very like um, against the knife. So I don't know if, um, you know, getting into that pocket will be an issue. You have a titanium backspacer, which is cool. And this just has like some weird body lines to it the flipper tab is very minimal but we are going to give this thing a flick yeah it's snappy comes right out of there um okay so this is an m390 so i thought that this was again one of their more premium models and there it says beds tech knives m390 um the logo of i believe probably the designer of this knife i don't know much about this um we'll see how the closing action is oh Okay, closing action's really good, guys. You just gotta get that lock bar out of the way. Yep, very smooth. Any blade play? Yeah, so there is a little bit of blade play um, that I can feel. So maybe if I tighten that pivot up, it won't be as drop shutty. But it's definitely good. For sure on bearings. Um, that flipper tab is like, sometimes it's not bad. But other times, it, I can't get a good grip on it because there it's so small. And there is jimping up here, but it's not very deep. So like I could just like kind of slip off of it, like right there. But yeah, definitely a unique piece. Um, ergonomics are actually quite you know well done. Feel really good in the hand. But again, this thing is so thin. You have a little bit of a landing choy up here. Thickness behind the edge, again, is thick. Best Tech must like to do thick knives. Um, this thing, I don't think, would be a very good slicer just off the top of my head. And I'm not the greatest person to, you know, talk about and learn from that because I, I don't do a whole lot of cutting. I don't do a whole lot of hard use stuff with my knives. But this definitely feels, you know, a lot thicker than knives that I have in my collection and stuff like that because I tend to go for thinner knives and stuff like that. Um... Which is interesting because the knife in general is, is skinny, it's thin. You think that the blade stock would be really nice and thin too, but it's not. So, yeah. I don't, I mean, I would never go out of my way to buy this. I would probably never go out of my way to buy any of these knives except for maybe like this one. But again, I just found out that I'm not a huge, huge fan of it. So, but I'm definitely happy to, uh, you know, have been checking them out or to get them in to check them out. So, Thank you again to Justin uh, over at The Knife Dude for getting these in from Best Tech. Uh, shout out to the Black Widow Passer on Group. And shout out to Casey over at Knives Fast for sending them in to me or sending them over to me. Um, I, like I said, I'll leave Casey's Instagram and his uh, YouTube link down below. If you guys are interested in go checking him out, please do so. 
And yeah, this um, was just an unboxing of four Best Tech knives. So I definitely will have these sitting on my desk doing some flipping and stuff with them. I will try to carry them at least once or twice. Um, even if it's in the house, uh, I'll still pop them in a pocket just to get a good feel of how they carry. Um, try to do a little bit of paper test with them. Maybe cut a little cardboard. Um, you know, stuff like that. So again, we will go through them again one more time. This is the Best Tech Operator. Big chunky boy um, that has good action, surprisingly. The Best Tech Explorer, which is just horribly ugly. Looks like a stinking killer whale or orca. The unnamed Best Tech, because it does not have a box, but I definitely have looked at it before. Um, definitely not a bad looking knife, and it's very usable, but we'll, we'll get to that in the full reviews. And then the Best Tech Thyra, which is a premium model, M390 Titanium. Um, I'm sure the price tag will reflect that, so I'll definitely have to, before the videos, or before I do all the reviews on these, um, look up and take note of a price tag, because if I had to guess, this thing's probably close to $300. I know some of Best Tech's upper, or, uh, more premium models go for that. Um, and off the bat, I don't know if I would pay that for it. Um, or I, I know I wouldn't pay that for it. I don't know if it's worth it. So, But yeah, definitely be on the lookout for the uh, full review, guys, of this. Probably in the next, I don't know, two, three weeks or so. We'll see what I'm doing and you know how much, how much I get into the knives and stuff like that. So... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really greatly appreciate it. If you guys have not yet considered, uh, you know, subscribing, please consider doing so. Um, I really, really appreciate that, and it helps the channel a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching again, and have a fantastic rest of your night. Peace.